There are just too many ways to manage apps. Install them manually or scripted. Convert them into Intune Win files or install them from the Microsoft Store or from WinGet or package them in Config Manager, use Night Night, create Azure VM app images and there's your OS images. So I've decided I've had enough. And I know this is gonna sound a little crazy, but I removed all of the apps from my AVD environments and I was so amazed of what happened next. I started doing the same thing with all of my customers. And I know what you're thinking, how is this gonna work? How will AVD still be usable? Is this really even possible? Well, here's what happened. It all started when I was in the AVD portal one day and I noticed something new. What's App Attach doing here? Well, App Attach is an application delivery mechanism that's based on the new MSIX packaging format. And if you ever saw a UWP app or something in the Microsoft Store, most of those are MSIX files and there are thousands of them. Now to make App Attach work, we're gonna need a few things, starting with an MSIX file. But then we're gonna need just a little bit of code and convert that into an App Attach file. Then we'll need some Azure storage and file shares to hold those files. Finally, you'll need some host pools, users, and groups to access those apps individually. You heard right. Now you can set up the App Attach package once in AVD in a particular region and share it across multiple host pools, which also again means you have individual control over individual users that can access individual apps even in the same pool. And since each App Attach package is isolated from everything else, you can have multiple versions of the same app running at the same time. Starting to see the possibilities? Now take any application installer that you have, and then you can put it into a converter like the MSIX packaging tool. Or you can use some of the community tools like MSIX Hero or PSF Tooling. And these are all available for free in the Microsoft Store. Now click right here and create a new MSIX file. We'll be packaging on this computer and click Next. Now the tool's gonna install a driver to monitor for all the changes on this VM and then put all those changes inside the MSIX package. Now, before you continue here, you should check the boxes to disable these features and these things can sometimes interfere with the packaging process. Then click Next. Click Browse and find the installer that you wanna convert. And these can be any kind of MSI, EXE, or whatever else you have. And if the installer needs any arguments, you can put them in right here. Then you can click the drop down for your signing preference. Now all MSIX files need to be signed for app attach to work. And then that cert needs to be in a specific store on the hosts so that they can decode the package. And the preferred cert for this kind of thing is usually a code signing certificate. And of course, the best way to get one is from either an online certificate authority or from your own internal CA, which I did and then converted it into a PFX file, which means you need a password to unlock it. Then click next. Now this is the metadata for your package, like the name and the publisher and the version. Once you've got all that, click next. And if you don't know what accelerators are, then you don't need them. So just click next. Now the app's gonna go through the normal installation process and that package driver will monitor the system for all the clicks and settings and then put all that in your package. So once your app finishes and launches here, you can just close it. And now if you need to add a reboot at the end of that installation, click that button right there. Otherwise, just click next. Then verify all the details are correct and click next again and you're done. So just click right here. And then you can just click out of the packaging report and finally click to create and seal the package. Now, if all of that seems like a whole lot of work to go through for every application you have, I agree. And some of those community tools can do this in bulk, but wouldn't it just be great if you could just grab the existing MSIX files from the app vendors who've already created them? Well, click the subscribe button and the bell because I have a video on that coming real soon. Now, the next step once we have an MSIX file is to convert it into an app attached disk. And this doc is linked in the video description. You need to click right here and download the MSIX manager tool, then scroll down. And you need to choose if you wanna create a .sim or a .vhdx file for app attach. And that starts by scrolling down a little bit more and then you click the copy block here for whichever method you want. 
and then open a command prompt or PowerShell. And the code for both of these is basically identical. You need to specify your package and your destination and your file type. Then you just run the code and you're done. Now the sim version is gonna need all of these files to work, not just the .sim, it's all basically packaged together. And that takes up about 14 megabytes for this app. The VHDX file is just one big self-contained thing, but that takes up 24 megs. So if you convert everything in your library over like I have, you could have a lot of potential savings by going with the .sim format. But either way, once you have your app attached files, you need a storage account to hold it. And this is another common question in the app attached world. Do I need a premium storage account or is standard good enough? And of course, it's gonna depend on how many apps you have and how much IO all that generates. So I generally go with standard, but here's a pro tip. If you're using standard storage accounts on the advanced tab, when you're building, go down to the bottom, you should enable large file shares. This will increase the max capacity of the share up to 100 terabytes and also increases the IOPS limits from 1,000 to 20,000. Now, if you miss this step during the build in your storage account, scroll down and go to the configuration. And then you wanna go down to the bottom and enable large file shares here. Speaking of file shares, we need one to hold all of our app attached files. Now, when you're building it, I recommend transaction optimized and you should enable backups just in case anything goes wrong. Next, you need to configure the share for Active Directory authentication, but uh, just between you and me, if you're going the 100% cloud only method and you wanna know how to get AppAttach working in that, comment below with the word cloud share and I'll make a video on that for you. Now we have done videos on the AD authentication piece several times, which is basically just running some PowerShell code and that's all documented right over here. And there's even a video to walk you through the process in case you haven't done it before. As for the share permissions at the bottom here, leave them disabled because we need something a little bit different. Back on the main screen of the storage account, go up there to access control and look at your role assignments. For the file shares, we need to think about the SMB share roles. Now, just like in FS Logics, you'll need the elevated contributor in order to assign all the Windows NTFS permissions, but unlike FS Logics, users don't need access to the share at all. But your session hosts do. So for that, I've got an AD group that's called WVD Computers, and I've got all my hosts in there. And that group is being synced to Entra ID. And the hosts need the SMB share reader role. And with the file share all set up and the permissions properly assigned, we can put everything all together. Go to your file share and then click browse up on the left. Now I personally like to set up a folder for each app, but do it however you like. Click upload at the top and then browse over here for your files and then select the SIM and all the other files in there and then click the upload button. And with your apps finally staged, we have come to the moment that you've all been waiting for. Back in the AVD portal, click on the left to app attach, click new at the top, pick your subscription and resource group and then select a pool. Now one of the hosts in this pool is going to crack open the app attached files using that certificate and get everything ready. Now, unlike the old way of doing app attach where the agents would pull every five minutes for new app attach things, here the host will do it every 30 seconds. So everything should run a lot faster. The location should be where the pool and the file share are located together and then click next. Click over here to select your storage account and then click here to select your app package. Now the host is gonna open the app manifest file and list all of the applications in this dropdown. And then you can select your app. Give it a display name and then scroll down. Now there's two ways you can register the apps. The backlog way will register everything on the host even before the users log in, where on demand registers as part of the user login. So if you have a whole lot of apps, this might slow down the sign in process so keep an eye on that. Now as for the state, anything you wanna use has to be active. And then in the health check, if something goes wrong in staging the apps on the host, do you want the health check to say that the package needs assistance or that it's unhealthy? Up to you and then click next. 
In the drop down at the top, you'll have a list of all of the pools in that region. Check the box for the ones that you want this app assigned to. And then you can click over here and select your users or groups. And you can just use the search box here to filter things if you know exactly what you're looking for. And when you found what you need, click select at the bottom. On the next screen, you can add all of your standard tags like you do for all of your resources to keep track of everything. And then you can review, and if it all looks good, create. And now you have a new app attach application. So let me give you a tour. The details about the app package are here at the top. On the left, you can go to configure and change the display name, registration state, and health check. And then you can click over here to manage your assigned users and your host pools. And all the rest of the details are over here in the properties blade. And with everything finally in place, you need to present the apps to the users. And this is a big change. If you're using AppAttach in full desktops, you don't need to do anything. The AppAttach assignment is all you need. But for remote apps, they still need to be added to an app group. But the good news here is that you only need one remote app group for everything in the pool. All of your MSIX apps can go in there and the visibility of all those apps is still controlled by the app attach assignments. Go over to your host pool and then to your app groups. And you can either add a new group or edit an existing one. Now for the first drop down here, this is your application source. You'll want to pick app attach and the pool will compile a list of all of the apps that have been entitled to it. And this shows up in two different sections. The host pool packages are the older way of doing app attached files. They're at the bottom. And then the new way are the regional packages. Select your app package and then pick your app in the next dropdown. Now the app identifier is a unique way to keep this pool's apps separate from all the other pools using this app. So the arm engine knows what it's doing. And I like to do this with the name of the pool and the name of the app. And you can even add a description if you like, and then click next. Here's where you pick the icon that you want displayed for your AVD app. And if you don't like the default, you can even upload your own. When you're done here, click next, and then you can click finish. And with the app group complete, you can go over to your clients and you should see your new app attach icon sitting there right next to everything else. And you click to launch it. And in just a few seconds, the remote app will open and you can get to work. Now, if you're going with the full desktop instead of remote apps, you'll find the apps listed under the start menu. But notice if you sign in with a user that wasn't entitled for that app, they won't see it at all. And remember, I also said in the beginning that you can have multiple app versions. Well, here's the built-in Windows terminal. And here's the other one from App Attach, both of them running on the same host at the same time. And this is an exciting new world of possibilities for managing AVD. But since this video is long enough, we're going to have a follow up video on how to, you can find all of those MSIX packages. So you don't have to repackage everything. And then there's also one about doing app attach in that hundred percent cloud environment. Oh, and don't forget about your images. And then there's also monitoring. And